Hi guys, my name is Kendi Oluwayemi and today we're going to be having a conversation. On my previous episode, we talked about a few ways of becoming resilient and one of the ways to stop us from being resilient we talk about is, um, is divorce, how that can create a traumatic event in our life. Today, we're going to be talking about instability in life. Now, what is instability? Instability is the quality or state of being unstable. That explains it right there. In today's society, we can all agree that one of the instability of our life today is fluctuating of moving from one job to another. We intend to be unable to build resilience to face our challenges because we can't say no or we can identify the things we can control and the things we cannot control. We have to be able to build a tolerance to control certain things that within our power and to understand that not everything is going to go the way we plan. We got to reduce our anxiety and stress level by identifying that you can't change people. Because the moment you understand that part, you will only change yourself towards certain situation. How you react, if you should be there, if you shouldn't. And if you're not going to be there, you identify, okay, if I'm going to this new place, I might still face another new challenges. How am I going to handle it? Because the thing we got to understand is that we can't keep changing job from one place to another. We will always face challenges, even in our daily activities and our own personal life. We face challenges in our relationship, in our, you know, day-to-day activities. We didn't, because of that, give up. We face it, we adjust, we compromise. And that's the way we have to understand how to build re- resilience. Resilience comes with the habit of being able to compromise, understand things, focus on the things you can control, leave the things you can't control, and you will live a joyful life. You know, um... Learn how to say no when you have to say no. Not everything you have to say yes because you want to satisfy people. If your life is all about satisfying people, then you will never build resilience. You will never be happy. You will never be, you know, joyful about the things you're doing. Because all you're trying to do is to do things for people, to praise you. You're wanting validation from people. Because resilience, it's not going to come up. Even you will be more stressed and you will have a lot of anxiety within you. You will feel less confident in yourself because you are trying to satisfy people. Guys, this is a wonderful episode. It's just a short clip. I know I haven't been dropping a lot of episodes lately and I have my reason. And one, Some of my reason is because um, I'm focusing on a lot of stuff building business, uh, working with corporations, um, you know, enjoying myself outside social media, spending time with my loved ones, spending time with my partner, and doing a lot of stuff to improve myself. And that's one thing you got to understand. When you're doing things, do things for the love of it. Don't do things for validation. And that's, that, that right there, it's called passion. If you do things for validation, as we're saying, about resilience you will lack resilience you will feel pushed every time to do things when you don't want to do things for the love of it and when you do things for the love of for the love of the thing that you're doing you will feel completely happy and you will be you will show gratitude for everything you're doing so guys i really appreciate you for the support for watching the video Keep subscribing, sharing, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.